What's up, everybody? Come on in. Hey Kelly. Hey Trevor. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Thanks, Trevor. I'm excited for you to hear it too. I'm gonna give everybody a minute here to roll in. Go Bills. Hello, Nova. How's it going? Hi, Mom. These are always super awkward for me because I'm just just sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. What's up, Ricky in Kentucky? I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Hey, Randy. Yeah, I'm pumped for you guys to see this um, performance. It's, I have, we had a blast um, doing this show and um, hello Australia. We got everybody in here. Um, yeah, we, I'm so pumped for you guys to see this. I have a badass band playing with me. Um, some of the best players in town. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to, you know, because, and there go the dogs, <laughs> story of my life. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, when we, when we finished the record, I really, I wanted to do something to, you know, especially because we, especially in Canada, you know, we weren't playing any shows really this year, at least not at the beginning of the year. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that there was a way, um, there was a way to be able to have you guys hear the songs live because I'm not able to come play shows. So um, it was pretty amazing to be up there playing again and having like full on production. So yeah. I'm excited for you guys to see this. Um, and we got the best band, best players. Um, one of my producers, Joey Hyde, helped put together um, the band and everything and rehearsals. I've got Luke Combs, uh, keyboard player. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read all the comments. Um, I don't have anything as of right now in Canada, but there, are, I think there are like starting to be some offers coming in. So hopefully at least by the end of the year, I'll be able to come and play in Canada. 
I would also love to do halftime for the Argos. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see me play with these guys. Just an amazing, amazing band. Um, I had Neil Tank Tankersley plays keys for Luke Combs. Travis Vance plays bass for um, Thomas Rhett. Uh, Dominic Frost and Tyler Tomlinson play for Morgan Wallen. Uh, Phil Lawson plays for Kelsey Ballerini and a bunch of other artists. So this band is like 10 out of 10 band. I'm excited for you guys to hear the songs live. It was the first time I've played any of these songs um, off the new record, like with the full band. So, hey, Kenny. I got to be honest, though. I, you know, I was trying to find, obviously, a cool outfit for this uh for this show let me tell you the red leather jacket you'll see me wearing looks great but I almost died of like heat strokes <laughs> several times wearing that jacket I want to come to all of these places um yeah I mean it's it's been crazy being able to play shows, like having shows again in, I mean, I've just been playing in the U S obviously Canada's still kind of locked down, but, um, you know, just going out on stage, all I've never played any of these, any of these songs live before, um, any of these new songs really. And so it's been really cool to see just the response I've been getting from some of the, the U S crowds I've been playing for, but also I'm really excited to see, you know, I'm really excited to play for my Canadian fans and for people that are already familiar with me and my music and everything. So that's going to be a whole other level of awesome when I get to play in Canada again. Ricky, I would love to, I would also love to come play in Bardstown, Kentucky. I'm sure I'll get there at some point. Yes, Red Rocks is definitely um, bucket list venue for me. I miss Durham. I cannot wait to get to play Boots and Hearts again. I'm really sad that we have not been able to do that the last two years. Favorite song off the new album to play live? Um, probably, I don't know. It's hard to say, like, I... Uh, I don't know. Better story, honestly, even though it's like a ballad and slower, it's definitely one of my favorites to play live. Um, Goes good with beer is ju just rocks so hard. And um, I just really, I love the guitar parts I get to play on goes good with beer. Like I'm more active as a guitar player on that song live. So that's always fun. Sorry guys, hold on. I'm just fixing something here. Um, top two favorite off the album, um, probably it's tough to say, like it, it depends on the day, but, um, better story is definitely one of my favorites on the record. Also love Liar 2, which is another one I really love to play live. Um, just with the outro and everything, um, it's just it just rocks out, and it's just really, really fun to play live. So, again, another it's another song that's fun for me on guitar. And obviously I love singing, but the songs I get to play live where I'm more active and I'm playing more parts, like more guitar parts, are always fun for me.
thank you guys. It's, it's crazy. Like better story was, I wasn't like nervous to put it out, but it was a little bit, I guess, just because it's so different than anything I've really put out before. And it seems to be kind of the, the big favorite amongst everybody. Um, so let's blow it up. Let's make it viral guys. Send it to everybody, you know, put it on your playlist. Make sure if you're listening to it, even if you bought the record, stream it when you listen to it, get those streaming numbers up. Let's let's blow it up. Let's make it big. Thanks, guys. Oh, I gotta watch the time here. I love that. Yes, cool about it is really fun to play live too. Just a good chill vibe. Hardest song to record from the album. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't know about hardest, but, um, I would say that there are two songs that took a little bit more work in like the, the post-production, like once we got out of the studio, um, one of them was mama prayed for, and the other one was uh liar too. And I think part of it was like mama prayed for, when we, the, the first time we, like the first mix that we had was a little bit different. It was a little bit bigger off the top, like in the chorus came in really huge production wise. Um, and we decided to, that it just didn't have like the same emotion as, cause we had a really great demo too, that we were working from. And so we ended up going back in and tweaking the mix a little bit and pulling some things back and out of the mix and trying to make it a little more um, I guess emotional and like a little bit more bare and not quite so produced. So that one was like, not, it wasn't like stressful. I just, I wanted, I wanted to be happy with it. I wanted the label to be happy with it. I wanted to, you know, do the song justice. Um, I mean, it ended up great. And same thing with um, uh, liar Two. you know, we had all the, all the, the bones and, everything were there after we came out of the studio. But I was like, I just feel like it's missing some, some parts. Like it needed more guitar parts. Like there's, there are several, if you really listen to like just the guitars on Liar 2, there are several different lines, like different guitar parts that are happening throughout that song, which is part of what I think makes it so cool. And so, you know, I remember saying to Joey, like listening to the mixes and that was when I was like, dude, I'm like, it's just not hitting me yet. Can I come over to the house and let's see, you know, if we can, we can mess with it and add some parts into it. Joey is also an amazing guitar player himself. So he played a lot of those parts on Liar 2. And I mean, I'm not a lead guitar player. I can, you know, play rhythm and stuff and I can kind of show, like say what I want, but I'm not that kind of player. And so I just sat there with Joey and we messed around with a couple different, you know, melody guitar parts. And I, to me, it really like took the song to the next level for sure. Yeah. Um, Kelly, I definitely wanted to, I wanted to show like every side of me on this record. I feel like in the past, you know, I've, the records that I've made in the past have been really focused on, you know, my, my country roots and a little bit of rock. Um, but there's a, there are so many other influences that have, you know, molded me into, into the artist and, and songwriter that I am now. And I feel like this record really like brings in like all of those, those influences. And yes, it is. This album is a hundred percent me for sure. Part of that was, you know, just over quarantine, I had so much more time to just focus on on writing. And I wasn't feeling like this pressure or deadline to like turn in songs or get the record done. And and so I was just like trying different things and taking more chances, I think, with my songwriting. And I think the result of it was, you know, we got more in depth. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to wrap this up and we're going to go over to the live stream. I'm so excited for you guys to watch this. So enjoy and I'll see you over there. <laughs> 